Howdy, everybody. It is I, Meta Potato. That's the one. Performing without a script because I don't have much time to record and I haven't written a script the whole four months I've been inactive, so I'm pretty smart. Anyway, so this is all gonna be pretty improvised. But, you know. So, once upon a time in my glorious life, my media studies teacher gave us an assignment, and uh, all my friends wanted to be in a group with me, but I politely rejected them and decided to work by myself, you know, because I don't want to fail, obviously. They definitely didn't reject me. <laughs> anyway, so my friends will call them Begalic. Uh, it's an inside joke, so... We'll call my other friend Afro Circus, uh, for obvious reasons. And then my other two friends we'll call Doug and... Tim. So, Tim decided to be in a group with Big Garlic, while Doug went in a group with Afro Circus. But obviously after asking me first, but yeah, I declined, obviously. Too good for me. Huh. The assignment was to make a short film, every group had to make one. But I work alone, so yeah, that's what I did. So we all got started on the paperwork. I had already almost finished the paperwork since I had started it early because I am pretty organized. You'd think, being the most organized one, I would have finished my film first, but no, I didn't get it done until the day it was due. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the time I almost got kidnapped. So, I went over to Big Garlic's house. Everyone was there. We were filming his film, not mine. And his film is a superhero film. It's pretty... Okay, he, he passed, so, you know. It took several days to film, but on this particular day, it took all day. And afterwards, we were like, you know what? Let's treat ourselves to some BK. So we began our journey. It was getting a bit dark. We started walking to BK. And then, on the way there, nothing happened. But once we got there, you'll never guess what happened. We bought food and ate. But after we left, it was already dark. And instead of walking back to Big Garlic's house, uh, Doug and Tim, I forgot if I named him Tim. I'm pretty sure it's Tim. Doug and Tim decided, you know what? Let's go to the supermarket and buy some freaking ginger beer. Because, you know, so we're like, oh, fine, we'll just walk to the supermarket and then we'll buy beer made of ginger. And so we began our, another journey. Bit sick of walking, to be honest, but oh well. And on the way there, a car drives past. Pretty scary stuff, to be honest. Uh, yeah, anyway, the end. Uh, that was the end of my story. Car drove past. Anyway, so the car drove past and yelled out some choice words at us. Cool. By the sounds of it, there were about five people in the car, all with their windows down, yelling at us. It was a pretty good time. So Big Garlic, being the Big Garlic that he is, decides to yell back, I love you too. And, um, yeah, that was pretty funny. Everyone laughed. But little did Big Garlic know that he had freaked up. I turn around. I look back and discover that a poop. The car was turning around and coming back towards us. So I see it. Uh, guys, the car is turning around and coming back towards us. <laughs> um, I'm not even joking, guys. It's coming back towards us. You serious? Everyone freaking look back. And then they're like, oh. Well, that's not good. So we all cautiously stepped off the footpath, because we're smart, onto a car park that was nearby, so it was kind of convenient just to get away from the road a little bit. So we stepped into the car park and kept walking towards the supermarket. The car pulled up next to us, and then they started yelling at us again, but they'd stopped. They weren't driving anymore. About five guys. So me and Afro Circus decided to run. Everyone followed us after that. It was Pretty fun time. Me and, me and Afro Circus stayed ahead of the rest, and so we just ran. Me and Afro Circus kind of chuckled to each other, but also kind of surprised at what is happening. Ran straight to the supermarket. We looked back, no one was following us, so we're like, oh, well that's not good. But then we saw they came in a different entrance, so it was, it was fine in the end. We kind of watched out for that car for the rest of the night as we walked back to Big Garlic's house and then we went to watch a movie at my youth group so that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I didn't actually almost get kidnapped. I mean, I could've. Anyway, hopefully I managed to add in some funny things into this video so it's not as lame. Uh, at the moment it sounds pretty trash so I don't know what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna get zero views. Uh, but at this point, who knows to be honest because I don't even know. Anyway, um, don't get kidnapped. Try not to yell out I love you to random strangers yelling at you. Uh, also, 
stay nifty. That's another thing. That's some good advice. You should take it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is why I need a script. See ya. Bye. Stay nifty. And I love you too.